stick it with the programming. I'm Chase Ingram. I'm Captain America. And along with me is Bill Grendler. Wolverine. And of course we have... My name is Tyler, and I am awesome. Everybody loves me, because I am awesome. My name is Tyler, and I'm really, really awesome. If you don't believe me... Just listen to what my backup singers have to say. Johnny, really I really need backup singers. We do. We do need backup singers. <laughs> <laughs> we really do. Oh, gosh. I can't remember which one I still have for you, John. Is it the original? What kind of play you got for this uh, situation? Yeah. <laughs> no. Come on, man. All right. All right. Now you got to change it. <laughs> Who do you think you are? I am. We had two people. Oh, no, we have three people on the show that potentially can get 24.3 correct, by the way. We had Bill week one. We had Pedro oh, week two. I can't believe Pedro. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad that we dog. had him on. Dude, he did it the the absolute he he did it the way that like the old time uh astrologers used to do on TV. If you call this number. I'll give you your astrology. It's the most vague version, but like, right. I don't know. Maybe long. Maybe it'll be kind of long. Deadlifts. Something Deadlifts. everyone can do. It was great. Maybe an easy movement. It was That's great. so true. Nivy, thanks for becoming a member. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. If you guys want to join the show, you can. Just click join, top of the podcast. Appreciate you guys. It's going to be awesome. Welcome to Inside the Leaderboard. Week two is done. Week three is on the horizon. We have two days. To the, uh, what, we're... 20 or 48, 50 hours away from 24.3 announcement. Mm -hmm. We'll be predicting the event at the end of the show, but we are going to look inside the leaderboard at our strength of field after two weeks. Uh, everybody keep your eyes on the bottom left screen. I'm just saying <laughs> once we get, once we get to the end, uh, it's going to be great. Uh, I'm sad Pedro's not on the show. I did get him a new sand bite, but, uh, Based off John's recommendations. Oh, uh, you didn't take mine? I think Damn. <laughs> Wait, was yours the Conor McGregor one? No. Mine was the Peaky Blinders one. No, oh, 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 that would have been a good one. Conor McGregor one? Yeah. Yeah, I got that one. Dude, that one's great. That one's great. <laughs> <laughs> that one's great. Yes, Nivy. Commence the chaos. Commence the chaos. Oh, uh, here's an important uh, question from Glee. Who is going to do the Open next year? Keeping right. receipts, Lee. We're keeping receipts. How's everyone doing on the Heat One app? I'm shocked that I'm tied for 31st. Way she better than I expected. Um, I would like to officially submit a recount on the Heat One app uh, based off Will Brandsetter's uh, dominating position. Um, nobody should be that good at this. Uh, <laughs> this game is so weird. Like I was telling you guys earlier, the people who are in the top 100 are never in the top 100 on the other games. So it's like we found a good mix now. Yes. It's been, uh, yeah, I've. Well, I'm 30. I'm not good. You're 35th? Where am I? I got to look where I'm at. I'm at 44th. Really? Forty, you're forty four. But yeah. I will tell you, hey, we should ask them, Tyler. So we have a controversy right now. Not really a controversy, but how the app should score certain things. Ooh, I, I don't want to talk about this again <laughs> because I am so clearly in the right on this. And if he wants to professionalize the app, this is how gambling is done. This is how betting is done. If it is a tie, nobody gets points. It's zero zero. If it is a tie currently he's giving everybody the points, the person they picked on, but there's always an underdog. Oh, and, uh, it's not like you get a hundred points and you get a hundred points. So for instance, if you pick Taylor, you got 140 points. And if you picked Hopper, you got 60 points mm. because there's an underdog element to he's race horsing it. He's race horsing right? it. But if it's a tie, I, my prerogative is nobody should get anything if because nobody won. Your right. person didn't win. You didn't you want to reward people for playing. That's what you're saying. No, it's a tie. It's just an unfortunate thing that happens. But this is how betting this is how betting works. Like you don't get credit if you didn't call <laughs> a winner, right? 
And oh, Tyler's like, no, we're just going to give everybody the points. So then you got more points than I did for being wrong. You're not wrong. You're just tied. <laughs> but we're not tied because you got more they both points. won. But you got the more spread, points. It's not the spread tied. is less between them than if All you right, so won what is, versus what they is, won. What is y'all's prerogative on this? I just want y'all's opinion. I think mm. my my personal would be that if you're going to go that route and you're playing kind of the horse race uh, percentages like that, playing those ratios, then you have to know what those ratios would be ahead of time. I think that's the hard part. Like there'd have to be a, okay, what's, what's the over under on that particular one so that you would get the versions of the points of that. And you're dude, you're talking to the Z scores guy himself. That's going to be talking about like, okay. Yeah, well, and he the already changed of... it to the P score. He doesn't know what's right. He's fixing it as he goes. <laughs> Where, where's your scoring system, John? I, I can't remember that one. Oh yeah. Sorry. The comments on here are great. First comment in. John Young. <laughs> John is always. Next comment. John Young is right on this one. <laughs> So we're basically wait wait. So you're saying that in the comments Everybody we have a tie. No, we have a tie no, in the comments. No, no, no. Listen. So the comments have like 80 percent been on my side. Yeah. <laughs> and John, I'm taking John this as how betting works. Like if you bet the Heat wins and you bet uh, and somebody else bets the Magic win and it ends in a tie. I know that can't happen in the NBA, but it ends in a tie. Nobody gets anything. It's a push. True. You didn't get hurt. You didn't get benefit. That's not the case in currently how he is scoring it. Say there is a <laughs> thrust ascending thruster ladder in weight and spray oh, yeah. ties somebody strong. You would have rated Sprague to be it's still an a tie. Underdog I don't get that. credit. Yeah. So if I, I'm not asking wins. you that. You're saying that him tying that guy who's objectively stronger is worth less? There's that that's not real. We don't play other sports. It's about performance, and we pretty much know what you're capable of. And if you outdo that, I'm going to reward that. This is you, not you know, like other sports. Then you do one guy. rep more. You reward one rep more. A tie is just a sucky situation for everybody. Nobody wants it, including people who bet on it. Versus like if <laughs> you like this. I'm, I'm making a poll right now. <laughs> <laughs> in other news, uh, Bill Grundler is not playing in the Heat 1 app, but – Bill Grundler's beard dye is at 154. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm talking about. See, I just I I bet vicariously through the others that want to be my beard color. Listen, John Young's waffles were as ahead of me for like the last what? two competitions, <laughs> and it's been and I'm ahead of him this time. But listen, th those waffles are are hard to beat. That whoever that guy is, he's killing it. All right, here's the, the the poll is live and active. So if you guys see this in the chat and you're watching on YouTube, this is why you join us live. Here is the poll. Currently, John is trending at 58% to 42. But Guess uh, what? We shall see. I'm going to do what I want either way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just pull, you're just pulling the Pedro rule. That's all. No, no, no. And, and I've said, and you're good. It's your app. You do what you want. But if you want a better app, you should make it. You should make <laughs> so if it you want to like be it. sucky, keep doing what you're yeah, doing. But if, and if you want to be awesome, do works. what I'm telling it's you. It's how do. betting works. No, if you just go into it with the idea that these are the rules, you'll just it's adjust great. accordingly. That's not how betting works. At that though. point, if if you know that Taylor is the underdog and he might tie, it almost is safer to bet Taylor. You don't get money you, in a horse race if the horses tie. We don't play other sports, John. God, we, we play all the sports. Whoa, Tyler just took over John's position right there. Oh, great. All right, both of you shut the fuck up. We're not here. <laughs> <laughs> the poll is trending. We'll look at that towards the end of the show. Uh, before we get there, do you want to say there is the Coffee Pods and Wads Around the Whiteboard new episode coming up in 90 minutes or so, I believe, right? 90 minutes. Um, we would have missed that date if we had let Tyler and John just uh, continue continue what they were doing. <laughs> on the show is who is on this show? Brian Friend. Brian Friend, Kiefer. Is that right? Yep, Kiefer's on who's it. Who's the middle guy? And yeah, who's the middle guy? And then uh, another guy. Who is this? Oh, um, that Elliot guy. <laughs> that That's Evan. No, isn't this Elliot? Elliot Simmons. Yeah. 
Why no, is Savon on the picture? Oh, uh, oh. Because the first question is, is Savon good for CrossFit? Oh, man, that's a good Savon's question. Good. Oh, that uh, field you know, right there. Is that the title there, Tyler? I don't know if you oh, saw oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Sorry, but it's there. It's big. Hard, hard, get... uh, hard. No, he's trash. Yeah. So Brian Friend, uh, Elliot Simmons, and uh, Kiefer will be on the show today. That'll be in about ninety minutes. So we'll get through our show and allow you guys to pop over there as there is a, a Brian Friend sighting. So that'll be very exciting. But even more exciting. Talk about being right and being wrong, guys. This is what we're talking about today. We are going to go through the leaderboard. We're going to use our Get With The Programming Strength of Field Edition for semifinals and game spot allocations. But first, we need to recap what we're doing and where we came from. So as it stands, CrossFit has its strength of field already calculated. It's already out there. It's official. It's what they're going with based off two full years of competition through 2022 and 2023. You take the top 100 athletes and you divvy them up into their semifinal regions to see what men are where and what number they're in for both men and women. Then CrossFit will run a DeHunt method and allocate qualifying game spots per semifinal. Now CrossFit gives every region a specific number to start the season. North America and Europe get five. South America, Asia get two. Africa gets one, Oceania gets three. There's 17 extra spots, and those get divvied up using the DeHunt method. Now, this is CrossFit's top 100 based off their current, this is actual, this is what it is. And if you guys look at it here, right, this is North America West, America East, 27 and 32. All right, if we click over to the, let me... Expand this for you guys. Present. All right. The game's qualifying spots for this, for the men, if it stood today through CrossFit's 10 for the West, 12 for the East, 10 for Europe, Asia gets two, Africa one, South America two, Oceania three. Now, on the women's side, it's not much different as far as number of spots given to the other semifinal regions. The only semifinal regions that are getting extra spots in this format that CrossFit is using East, West, and Europe are the only ones that are getting the extra spots, right? That's it. Two, Asia, South America, one, Africa, three, Oceania. Nothing is changing for those guys yet. And it's very now, difficult to make that change happen in the current format, correct? Yes, and extremely difficult. One, because the stages of scoring are weighted differently as you get closer to the CrossFit game. So scoring in the open, I think it's 1,000 points. Quarterfinals might be 2,000 points. Semifinals is a little bit more than that, maybe five, but the game's points allocated for the strength of field system is, I think, three to four times that of the other semifinals or quarterfinals are open. So really, it's just your performance at the CrossFit Games that is going to boost your level on that leaderboard. And the problem is, is that if only one person from Africa is making it every year, and it's not the same person, they'll never get enough people in that top 100 using games points as your biggest booster to affect the top 100. Tyler, as our, our resident math Z-score numbers guy, is that, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. All right. And even if that Africa guy got top 10, it just doesn't matter because it has to be more than one right. to do it. And it's impossible. And they're not going to have, you're not going to be guess. able, yeah, it's what John's saying is like, only one person qualifies for the CrossFit Games from Africa. So they'll only get games like volume of points if they go to the games and they won't go to semifinals or open enough to add up enough points to make it in the top 100 unless you go to the CrossFit Games. But there's just not, there's no room to get a second person. So we were like, hey, Let's find out a better way. Let's answer the question, how do we make the open matter again while having a more real-time representation of strength of field? That means removing team athletes from individual strength of field calculations, removing athletes that are retired, those that aren't competing in person at semifinals individually. So once we did that, we looked at what that would do to the overall leaderboard for the top 100 before the open started. And we see there were some changes. For the men, Europe gained a spot. Oceania lost a spot. This is before the Open started. For the women, 
Oceania lost two spots. And North America West gamed one. So this is with the numbers for the women game spots before the Open started. And then after 24.1, we had some exciting things happen. After 24.1, European men gained four. North America West lost six. East lost four. Oceania gained six. And this is all just in the top 100 people for the men. And if you look at the game spots there, North America West lost three men games qualifying spots. East lost one. Europe gained one. South America gained one, and Oceania got two. This is after 24.1. That's for the men. On the women's side, bigger shift, because in the top 100, Europe Ooh. gained 12 women after 24.1. North America lost 20 total, five in the East, 15 in the West. <laughs> Oceania gained 10 Asia gained one, and Africa lost their three. And the game spots leading into 24.2, North America West lost six qualifying spots on the women's side after 24.1. Europe gained four. They now have 16 total. East lost one. Oceania got four, and Africa lost one. This was prior to 24.2 going down. And I remember John saying, don't worry, we're going to have a big swing back the other way after week number two. John, how confident are you in that? Uh, well, back in the good old days, we would have, but now earmuffs, Chase. <laughs> oh, oh, CrossFit's wait. freaking soft and the open's <laughs> made for everybody. It's not programmed for the best and scale for the rest anymore. So now it's just everybody gets to do every single workout. And easy as possible. We don't program for the elite. So now I don't, we probably won't get weights this week either. I did nothing would surprise me. <laughs> that was so sad. <laughs> won't have them this week either. What what happened? Was, was, what, who's, why, John? Hey, you, you, you keep glit, you're, you're, you keep glitching off, Chase. I don't know what's going on. It's weird. Oh. Why is John so sad? Were you crying? He misses weights. I, you know, you know what's funny. Uh, before we got on this podcast, I just thought of that meme from The Office when Michael Scott goes, "I'm ready to be hurt again," and, <laughs> and that's every that's week. How that's how I feel. That's how I feel. I like it. I like it. Well, let's take a look at what happens going into week two. We knew that the West was bleeding athletes, both men and women. Europe just shooting up top 100 left and right. Oceania got their spots back that they lost prior to 24.1. So let's take a peek at what's going on after 24.2. Shout out to Known and Noble for making these for us and getting everything on paper so we can look smarter than we usually are. We looked at the pre-open rankings that CrossFit has. We looked at the pre-open rankings before 24.1, and we saw what happened after the first week of the Open. And after week number two, let's take a look at what we have. We have a new top 100 based off the worldwide leaderboard in the Open as it currently stands because it just keeps compounding from week to week before we get to quarterfinals. These are your seven semifinal regions, East, West, and North America, Europe, Asia, Africa, South America, and Oceania. Athletes removed on the men's side that were currently in the top 100 on the leaderboard as it stands today. Noah Olson has been removed from the top 100 because he's confirmed going team. Chandler Smith and Philip Muscarella will not be in the top 100 because they are going team for the strength of field. This is what happened after. Week number two, Europe, no change. 33 men in the top 100. North America bumped up five in tying Europe for 33 men in the top 100. North America West gained one, so the, the, the bleeding has stopped for the, the men. <laughs> they have 20 in the top 100. South America holding Pat at six, Africa zero. Oceania lost three out of the top 100 after 24.2. And Asia lost three after 24.2. So let's take a look at what the new games allocated spots are. Remember in the GWTP system, 
Every semifinal only gets one guaranteed spot. The other 33 spots are up for grabs with the strength of field. And these are your new top 100 outside looking in. Now we can look at it. The ties are gone. And Ooh, currently Luka in, Luka Jukic, exactly, sitting at 108 in Europe. Jacob Wheeler out of Oceania. Hawken Lechnis out of Europe. Dimitro Mindrescu out of Europe. Three Europeans on the outside looking in. They had Remember, they had no change from week one to week two. It was 33 men in the top 100. You have three on the outside looking in, which we've seen that could be the difference between one extra spot or not. There's also three men in Oceania on the 99 through 103, North America East with Hal Fisher, Darcy Hancock out of Oceania. Game spots. As they stand today, the West got one back. North America, uh, Colton Mertens is going back to the cross again. <laughs> <laughs> that was the craziest thing ever when Bill brought that up. I never made that connection until he said that. Yeah, that, was, that was insane. <laughs> North America West gets eight. North America East got an extra one. They now have 12. Europe has 12. South America still has earned themselves an extra spot because they have three. Africa has one. Asia lost the one they got in 24.1. And Oceania lost the one they got after 24.1. So this is your new games allocated spots for the men after two weeks of the CrossFit Games Open. You know what's crazy? The, the, the six guys from Europe that are sitting right on that line, three under the line, three over the line. If all six of them got inside that 100, mm -hmm. I mean, bumping their spots up even more, that's crazy. Mm. But where it'd be, you know, removing some of these like uh, pluses and minuses on the uh, on the uh, on the other areas of the globe, and sucking them all into Europe. Yeah. yeah. How much is it? Like one extra spot per three? Is that what we around that? Three to four. Three to four. Uh, Wad Zombie, Chase. What do you say? Quit, quit dodging me. Or are you going to Carson? I don't know. Talk <laughs> to Dylan. <laughs> Talk to Dylan and the CrossFit Media team. Now, it'll be interesting the way this ends up shaking out when it's all said and done, and that'd be after quarterfinals, correct? Mm -hmm. When it's uh, finally finished? Because I feel like prob probably... Uh, Anybody know who this guy is? No. How do you this, say his name? This is who gets the... Uh, uh, Bouchard? Yeah, Colin Bouchard. Bouchard. <laughs> Bouchard. I'm sorry, Colin. We, Colin we, 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 at your expense, there's been a lot of drama, and you're, you're an amazing guy. I hope you make the games. His name yeah. is Colin Bosshard. We should not make fun of you. I hope you're getting fitter. Man. We're not making fun of you, Colin. No, it's not, it's not at you. It's, it's we're making fun yeah. of yourself. It's about not right now. Say the name. Yes, and right now, if all said and done by making the open matter, you would have gotten that twelfth qualifying spot out of semifinals. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, for the North uh, North America West, we still. I think. What did they have? They gained Nine one ten. point. They had they had they I think gained ten one. last year. Yeah, and in that one spot was one person getting in the top one hundred. Remember right. that mm -hmm. they one person finally went from outside the top one hundred into the top one hundred and got him a full games qualifying spot. So we say three or four, but are you that one that tips the scale inside right, right. or outside the top one hundred? And that one person after open workout week two. Gave them an entirely new games qualifying spot, which I think is the beauty of what this could potentially be. Now I have a question for you guys. I feel like you take two from Europe and give it to North America West, take one from South America and give it to Oceania. And that is what I think the best games field would be just off the, off the top of my head. Not, you know, when it's all said and done, I don't know how it'll shake out, but just from the people that are from those divisions or regions, I think that would be the best showing, the best showing. Based off of what? Do you agree? Based off of like, where, where are you coming up with your decisions for that? Uh, games performances. Uh, so you're, so whoa, 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 whoa. You're going back to the old school style of doing it, dude. That's no, no, what no, you're no, trying no, to no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not. I don't know if that'll shake out like that or not. I'm just saying what I think would be the best showing would be those amount of spots and those amount of regions. If they don't earn it, Bill, they don't earn it. They don't get to go. Right. Right. So you're I'm hoping just, that it falls into that. No, setup I'm interested. Yeah, he's saying it will yeah, shake out you. like that. I got you. Yeah. 
He's well, saying it's he ran it. falling into that. Right. right. And right. look, in this week to week, fun, dramatic effect, we are going to have massive swings. There's going to be semifinals that are going to outperform what they traditionally got in years past, especially if you think about performance at the cross games. However, it still is a more dedicated and defined real time as it stands, like earning spots as you go. And it, maybe it will shake out. Maybe there'll be no change, but damn, we had a great time getting to the end. Well, and then right. it, it, I think it just, it, it buffers against any possible inconsistencies or incorrectnesses. Like, because then, cause then you can't be argue any. it. It's performance then, based. Yeah. Right. And, and it's whether it ends up being the same or not, the way you got there is more correct. So that now you don't have issues of like, yeah, well, so-and-so didn't make it in and they would have been in the top 10 of the games, but this, they just had a bad whatever. Um, so I think that that's, that's what's really important about it. Whether it shakes out exactly the same or not, it's how you got there, which I think is more important. You know, you know what, if, uh, if they started using this system in the very first year, North America West only had five slots, the open would be fixed next year. Ooh, right. Immediately. Right. It would take, it would take, you know, a, a year of full and doing it in the system, but then they only got five spots because of performance based or the open doesn't matter or whatever. The very next year, everything would be fixed. All right. Do, do y'all disagree with that? I don't no. disagree. What do you mean by Dude, everything? That, yeah. Like if you mean if, like you get your heavy lift that you want fixed? No, 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 no. That's not. That's not it. Uh, I'm just. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, people would try. It would matter. It'd be like everybody would be like Errol Lowen. Ah. And repeat yes. the workout four thousand times. Right. <laughs> Which is right. wild. But to get that extra spot, to get to your top 100. And then those people who are on the fringe line, everybody would know those names. Mm. You know what I, I mean? Just, because it just, it just makes the open way more. Uh, and we say it matters and using that quote all the time, but it just makes everything about it more important. It highlights people, which is great. It, that, that's very community based. It gives athletes that are trying to make a name for themselves, lets them be seen. Um, it gives a lot more excitement, you know, all through the week. I mean, yep. I, I, we're we we are we're showing HQ what it really could look like and what it would really do. And I I really hope at the end of this they they take a look at it, Chase. If you can drag it along like a piece of toilet paper on your shoe, that would be <laughs> you walk around everybody. That'd be great. We shall see. All right, let's switch gears over to the women's side as we see. What athletes are removed from the top 100 after 24.2? Matilda Garnis, going team. She's sitting at 13th overall. Jamie Simmons, 30th. Kristen Holta, 68th. Other notables in after 24.2, Christine Hollard, sitting in second overall. She's supposedly going team. Cara Saunders, Marnie Sykes. Oh, Marnie Sykes. There was so much weighing on you in 2023, and now you're out. <laughs> <laughs> Emily Rethwill and Maria Longforsch. That is who is out of your top 100 after 24.2. So more win than, there you go, John. 50. Fit half of the women Jeez. in the top 100 wow. are out of Europe after two weeks. Of the cross of the that world. tells me right there that the workout has the freaking same stimulus, Dave. Okay, you're so freaking <laughs> wrong on that. Create different movement patterns. We all know you like to hinge. Okay, stop it. Here, look at the North America West has 10. They lost North America West, lost four more spots. They now only have 10. Dude, they're gonna have three the girls go to 100. the games. North America East got five, so East is going up. North uh, South America lost all four, they're gone. They gone. Africa zero, Asia lost two, Oceania lost two, but Europe 50. Of the top 100 women in the world currently going individual for semifinals are out of Europe. 50. Damn. It kind of, I, I like that they can go down to zero because when, if that means like they won't have a person go to the games, everybody started out with one. And then your real time performance shows that you're not ready yet. And like, that's okay. I like that they have zero people going because you're not ready yet. And then whenever you do, when you are well, ready. Is, they'll still get their one though. 
Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? More people. Yeah, right. But like the second they get more people, like those people are not going to be last place at the games every year. Yes. You know what I mean? Like it has been because right. they've earned their way to go. There's some bad mother efforts, you know? Yep. All right. Next. All right. Let's see, let's see how many they get. Oh, I forgot the cut line. <laughs> yeah, ahead, no, it's it's to make it even fun. There are four <laughs> women outside the top 100 oh from God. Europe waiting to jump into the cut Shit. line. <laughs> Paige Powers, Mackenzie Riley, Alexis Raptus. These are like, yes. two of those girls are top 10 people. <laughs> and it's East. I don't see a Europe or a North America West in sight. Uh -huh. at the moment. All I see is North America. It's actually, it is only North America East and Europe. Europe. All yeah, where's the West? Down that 100 cut line. 100 How do you say 109? All right. <laughs> Europe. <laughs> 18. <laughs> Games qualifying spots. Oh, my gosh. After week two of the CrossFit Games open for 2024. North America West only has four. Can we North see America would be out? Has 11. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Let's see. If we went to the West from last year's semifinals, Christine Kohlenbrander would be your fourth place athlete holding strong. Bethany Flores out, Emily Rolf, Olivia Kirksetter, Abigail Domit, Bailey Rail, Caleb Kelly Baker. Pfft, all gone. Heavy hitters. God. Not going to the CrossFit Games. All right, let's see. Uh, think about if you go to your semifinal and it's 30 people and 18 of y'all get to go to the game. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that insane? <laughs> like, like, you have a 50-50 chance now. Yeah. No, it's more than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's 40. Yeah, you have 40 uh, women qualifying right it's 40 in europe now it's not 60 it's 40 remember that oh, oh that's right that's right they brought it down 40. that's right it's almost 50 percent of you guys are going to go to the cross mm -hmm. games if you perform like you do in the open and quarterfinals right. all right hey, 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 hey. you how yeah. you ask a girl how'd you do it semifinals oh i got 17 like oh, oh that's not bad you do better next no i'm going to the games yeah <laughs> it's, 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 you know <laughs> all right let's see we have the european women we're going down to 18 they had uh, what they only had eleven last year, right? Mm -hmm. If I, I remember correctly, okay. Rebecca Vittison was your eleventh. Here's who would have made it: Jacqueline Dahlstrom, mm -hmm. Linda Keesman, Ohina Moya. She got busted for drugs, so we'll go down one extra. <laughs> Turi Helgadotter, Jenny Muir, Andrea Solberg, Madeline Pearson, and, and Sarah, Sarah wow. Sigmund's daughter. Sigmund's daughter. That is so great. Sarah <laughs> Sigmund's daughter would have been the last one in if the European women ball out during the open and quarterfinals. Oh Sarah goes back to the CrossFit Games. That's with so a 56th awesome. place finish, too. <laughs> right. right. God. I cannot believe we just landed on that. That's so crazy that it that she ended up being that one. That's wild. Yeah. Good for you, Sarah, in this metaphorical. Yes. <laughs> this what could have been? What could have this been? metaphorical, not quite real. In this alternate Maybe universe. Real. Super oh. cool alternate reality. But Dude, dang, imagine if this is how it went, though. This would be so awesome the whole time. Wouldn't this be great? Oh, let's see. I'm yeah. interested to see what happens here. Thank you. Because if John's right... Yeah. So far, uh, this year has me missing the boss programming. How do you know it's not the boss programming? It's not. It feels very Castro esque. <laughs> oh, you missed the shuttle walks and uh, burpee pull ups? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, I don't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> do people not see that thumbs up icon? Yeah, give us a little thumbs up. 315 people watching. I love you guys. Make sure you guys go watch Coffee Pods and Wads in just over an hour around the whiteboard. Talking about, is Savon good for CrossFit? Question number one. The spin tonight. Is that right, boys? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. 630. What's our topics for tonight? Well, oh. I'm not sure. I've gotten in trouble, so I don't know if I'm going to be on it. We don't know yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just watch. I'm guys sure we'll do that with the boys. Rankings. Yeah, stay tuned. All right. Yeah, blind rankings. 
line rankings. We'll stay tuned. But uh, yes, so this is where it shook out after week number two. So all the massive swings in all the directions, John does not want them to go. Yes, <laughs> here we are. So that is the leaderboard as it stands. We have one more week of the Open, and then we will have a final show post-Open of where the leaderboard stands at the halfway point of our strength of field calculations. After the Open, you'll have a fixed top 100 going into quarterfinals, which we'll know even more of who's going team and who's going Masters and who's out of the top 100. Once quarterfinals start, there's two submission windows this year. Submission window one, submission window two. We will have a pre-show of the Open of where the top 100 stands, who's on the cut line where, what semifinal athletes are within striking distance as it stacks up, and what certain semifinals need to have a big showing in the quarterfinals. Oh, Augustus, thank you for becoming a member. Appreciate you. That's awesome. Then we'll see after submission window one, We'll do the math because what we're taking is your open top 100 or basically where you place in the open will be average of where you place in the quarterfinals and we'll have a combined top 100. And it'll still be real time. After submission window one, we will come back on in that 24-hour time span and Halpin's really going to earn his keep there when it comes to <laughs> getting all that set up. And then we're going to say, hey, we have three days left of the quarterfinals, three, possibly three more events on the table, here is who needs to do what if they want to get extra spots to the cross the game. So it's going to be real time combined all the way through quarter funnel. So I'm super pumped about that. I'm excited to see what the full open, a full week uh, or a full uh, three weeks of the open will look like. Uh, maybe we'll have 67 women in Europe in the top 100. Who knows? <laughs> but you know, it's crazy, John, and this will be something that you'll, that you'll definitely appreciate because we've had plenty of talks about this either on the show or like behind the scenes in the locker room chat and all that. But with this making the open matter for the athletes to perform, it now becomes even more important that you have the correct programming to get the right athletes and the right scores going. And that's the hard part. Um, it, because as of right now, like I, I hang with you. Like I think I don't think it's been with the two events that it's been done correctly. I mean, the numbers are what the numbers are. Because now, as we come into trying to figure out what the next thing's going to be, oh, dude, mm -hmm. it's a lot, yeah, a yeah. lot of plates that have to be lifted in this last event. All and, right, and Saturday's showing that that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we, before we get to our second half of our Inside the Leaderboard show, which will be predicting 24.3. Uh, breaking news, John is right, according to uh, the 128 people that have uh, taken the poll. Sorry, Tyler. Um, still love you, though. <laughs> Pedro uh, rules, dude. You're okay. Pedro rules. So You're all right. Pedro rules, yeah. That's so and great. he's right. We will get used to it. I'm going to think it's dumb the whole time, but I will <laughs> begrudgingly accept it the bigger it gets. Be like, this is just that's, how the ties work. That's good. I look forward to making those reels and continuing to pump our app. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to try to predict what's coming up in 24.3. We have a clue from Dave Casho, which I will uh, play with the sound off. God, is there any this, that was I right. like I dig we, it. What can we what was the second clue? How did that relate? Did we ever get like an explanation for that one? Makes sense to me. It was slide the, uh, was the row. And the pawn was the short person. And weight was the weight. <laughs> so the rower ruined the short person. That's, I look at the bigger that. piece of there was no weight in this workout, Tyler. Don't out don't, don't act like there was any weight in this workout. There wasn't. Zero. Chase Zero. did it unbroken, Tyler. I True. did. I'm broken. Yeah. I mean, Chase is more impressive than that, man. Thank you're you. you're you're better than him with yeah. deadlifts. Yeah, and that's a low bar. <laughs> exactly. No weight. I'm so that wasn't a weight. That was a that was a slider of the rowers. What it's that a was. low bar. But uh, this is our clue. Um, I added my facial uh, expressions <laughs> of listening to. This. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he basically swallowed that entire thing whole. There was no way Doug chewed enough 
to safely digest that entire chicken leg. Listen, man. I think he did good. That's how I eat. <laughs> He's more eating like a crocodile. Hungry. Man, All right, so based on that, that, he would have been having the worst gas of all time. <laughs> yes. Dude. That, Ken at the lap, my, that noise is my new ringtone. <laughs> 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 All right, so that is our clue. Um, take that for what it is. And now we'll look at the last three days of .com. Uh, I tell you what, knees to elbows have, have come into the programming on CAP and .com far often than I remember as of recent uh, memory. Five rounds for time, 12 knees to elbows, 12 weighted alternating single leg squats at 35 and 20 pounds. This is something that I think could be a preview for our quarterfinals workout. Ooh. Like, I'm on team no pistols on online uh, competition. Like if it was Wherever. 10 rounds for time, but it's 12 toes to bar and then uh, 12, yeah, weighted pistols, but yeah. 10 rounds. This is yes, so Mark weird. Doug is a female. <laughs> Classic Dave. This is yeah. a weird workout. I thought it was strange because, like, not that knees to elbows are a scale, but like, sort of. And then, like, weighted single leg squats to match it with it just, it's just super strange to me. So, yeah. if you do like, knees to elbow are hard, 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 hard. Yeah. If you do knees to elbows appropriately, which is knees, knees touching elbow. the elbow, not the tricep armpit area, they're actually very challenging in a different way. The right, range of right. motion isn't as difficult, but I feel like there's a much more contraction and flexion in the core, the anterior abdominals than it is on a regular toes to bar. So, you know, I, I just think it's, it's because we don't do it regularly, like, mm -hmm. like to actually hit it right. That mm -hmm. it's, it's like when we would, when David have us do thrusters at 100 pounds instead of 95 pounds, it's, it's just a little different. So it throws you off. Sure. We're so used to our muscle patterns and our, the way we move in, in certain types of movements that you change it up a little bit and it completely makes it feel like, oh my gosh, it's so much harder. I don't, I don't think that it's that much harder. I know that you have to pike back a little bit more to get them up. Um, it's just a weird movement. It's yeah. weird. I, I don't think they're that hard. Or I'm with you. I don't think they're that different. They don't feel that much worse. It's just the, the weird offset with the weighted leg. Squat. In all reality, dude, it's the same thing as a crossover single under. It's not hard to do. It's just Listen, I was trash it. at that too when it came out. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's just because you haven't done it. Yeah. You know, you haven't done it. I just see uh, an interior core stability and fatigue into a weighted alternating pistol, which also requires a lot of core stability and, mm -hmm. and integrity. So, you know, I'd like to do that with GHDs. I think that with GHDs would be a juicy little. Yes. Yeah. All right. For load, this is Tuesday. Five or seven by three power snatch. Um, just increase the weight. So heavy power snatch off the floor. John, you just did one of those recently. What was? What did you hit? Yeah, power snatch two eighty. God, oh, shit! What? Wow, dude. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. Yeah, and then you were just like, "I'll just stop there." That was that a PR? It was a PR, but I don't. I don't think Max how power snatch very often, but yeah. uh, I don't think there was much more in the tank. Like if you look at that <laughs> video, I'm pretty, I'm pretty low. I think 285 would have sunk me just enough where it doesn't count anymore. <laughs> but um, no, I was happy with it. Unfortunately, it? There, there's no, there's no such thing as a failed power snatch, just a successful squat snatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those. <laughs> Unfortunately, right. that doesn't help you in CrossFit. So, so oh, poor John. <laughs> poor John. <laughs> All right, and Wednesday, five rounds each for time. Rest two minutes between efforts, 800 or 1,000 meter standing bike. So pick your Echo Assault C2, whatever bike implement you have, a regular bike, and do 800 to 1,000 meters. I'm assuming this is between men and women. And uh, for total time, each for time, from standing only. Which is funny because last Tuesday on cap, it was interval rows before 24.2. And on the Monday before, it's deadlifts. It was deadlifts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is your three workouts on .com. Obviously, tomorrow will be a rest day leading into Friday. So let's take a peek over at cap. On Monday, with a partner. AMRAP in 20 minutes, 10 sumo deadlift high pulls at 75 and 55, which is <laughs> fight gone bad weight. 
into 10 wall ball shots, 14 and 20 pound ball to a maddening 10 and 11 foot target. But you know, <laughs> that's just so me. Dumb. That's so just me. dumb. So, all the, all the <laughs> so dumb. 10 and 10 on Tuesday. Uh, it's a indoor version of Dave Castro's mini repeat programming from back in August or September. 10 rounds for time, three bar muscle ups, five shuttle runs, down and back 25 feet equals one. Dave programmed it was 10 rounds. Was it just two, was it a 200 meter run to start? 200 meter run, three ring muscle ups, yeah. 10 rounds for time. Yeah. Okay, so very similar to that. Um, I don't think bar muscle ups will be programmed. So to see that there, I think is. Uh, not well the open's not programmed for the elite athletes at all all right yeah, per all dave right. so that was uh dave said that uh so wednesday that. three rounds for time 15 dumbbell push presses 35 and 50 50 foot dumbbell front rack walking lunge 50 double unders says use two dumbbells three rounds for time and thursday this is actually on dot com two weeks ago i did this i did this too actually yeah. A thousand meter row, four hundred meter run. Seven fifty row, four hundred meter run. Five hundred meter row, four hundred meter run. Two fifty row, four hundred meter run. So What'd a total of twenty five hundred meters of rowing and one mile of running. And then let's go to the day that really threw a wrench in everybody's predictions of what twenty four point three. We had rowing and running before Friday. Obviously, twenty four point three will be Friday's workout of the day for Cap. And after Cap on Saturday, we have. 13.1 modified using front squat. So AMRAP in 17 minutes, 40 burpees to a target, six inches above their reach, 40 front squats at 95 and 65, 30 burpees, 30 front squats at 135 and 95, 20 burpees, 20 front squats at 185 and 125, 10 burpees, and then max front squats at 225 and 155. Why didn't it just put 135 with the 185? You did all the other ones right. <laughs> I don't know why they don't get right I don't know why they don't get that one. You That's did like, them all well, right. 95, 65, check. The 135, 95, check. 185, 125. What? 225, one, like you was right there. You, <laughs> know it's, you know what's bad is like, I think this would make an awesome open workout. I 100%. Like, That's not bad. Strength, that is awesome. If this You're was right. the strength yeah. workout for the open, I wouldn't be mad at all. And it's not like insanely heavy, but like your stronger yeah, people have to be fit to get there. And yeah. 225 for max front squats, that's devastating. And it's only more <laughs> devastating the stronger you are. I would just be doing squat cleans. <laughs> but, but, but right. But like One at a time. That's a 10. Like I'm dying. You know what yeah. I mean? And that, but you know, if you're stronger, you pay the price to do better. I, I think that's, it, this is a beautiful open workout. Mm -hmm. and I agree. It's sad that it's on a Saturday. Well then look at Sunday because I've seen this thrown out there a lot. Power cleans and box jumps is, is something uh, on Saturday, Saturday, 25, 20, 15, 10, five, 75 reps of each of box jumps, sit-ups and ring dips. And that leads us to what is going to be here for open 24.3. So we take what we've seen, Dave Cashel's clue, chicken leg, however you wanna look at it, could mean your legs are about to get eaten up or destroyed, that's kinda of how I see it. But then you look at Saturday's cap of 100 plus potential front squats at ascending loads, and I, and I see 21.3 out there, 20, uh, 3A and 3B or whatever, 3.4, whatever the numbers were that year. I was like, that's, 45 thrusters and 45 front squats and a bunch of gymnastics with a lifting part after that. And we're going to back it up with ascending weighted high volume front squats. I did that workout today. Did you? Because mm -hmm. you knew it wasn't going to happen on. on yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's he just it against it. Right? If I'm not going to get it Thursday, I'm doing it today. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I wanted to see how I'd do on it. I, I like that workout a lot. Alyssa, see, we're lunging, but we lunged on Tuesday. Wednesday. Oh, yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. Sorry, Wednesday. Two days before. But then again, this is where I, I, I started to second guess how I guess is that if I looked at last week, we did rowing and deadlifts on, for the open workout for Friday's workout. On Monday, we did 45 deadlifts at 225. On Tuesday, we did rowing intervals. And then we still had, um, they had Russian kettlebell swings for like 90 reps on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So... 
Maybe it is. Yeah, Maybe I think it it's just that. kettlebell deadlifts, and then sumo deadlift, high pull, 20-minute AMRAP. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's throwing I, up in his mouth right now as he's saying that. Just, you know, whatever. Whatever, Dave. Uh, yeah. Pigs I, sparkly. Everybody, those are in every gym. <laughs> yeah, you can buy those. Yeah. Just have them shipped to you. Man, I... It's so hard because I just feel like this. In we, for week two, we missed a a nice opportunity to be able to get something heavy, a, a, an increasing stop gap, something, mm-hmm. and we just missed it. So like it because of how it was set up, dude, and the way the way it's going, I think that we're I think that we're gonna have a two part. I think we're gonna have a two parter. Okay. I think and we're the, not, the reason we're not I, going to. I, I, like the it's reason been, I, it's been known it's been known yes. how has it been yeah known? how do we know that we know it. Uh, how has it been we no. know. i can't we tell know. you how we know i like you, that you you know, we know. Really? no i am not a part of this we i'm gonna ear must myself <laughs> <laughs> you start doing this we shit right. <laughs> listen the bottom half knows <laughs> the bottom i don't half. know anything oh, the, tyler's we, not gonna say he knows we just there's no two part. I don't know anybody who would know. If the these only, guys here's don't the know. only reason I would say that I don't want there to be. I, and I, I don't feel that there are, but uh, that there would be. But what makes me say that is we haven't lifted anything and they're not going to do their increasing weight. Like the like the, the burpee to a target in the front squat. They're not going to do something like that. Now we already had our long one. I don't think that we'll have the long one again. Like that that's done. So because of that, it's like, it will be a well shit. We got to put it in. That's what I think. That's why I think it'll be there. These and I, don't even, I mean, hopefully not a one rep crap bullshit stuff. Yeah, I hate. But that. I see it happening. I, I, I can see him doing it. If I we're gonna talk conspiracy the theories, versions. go ahead. Which, what is which one? I love that he said crap bullshit. Like oh, he did crap. the PC and he was like, never mind. <laughs> crap, it, yeah, crap bullshit. Never mind. Yeah. So, uh, so I have one more conspiracy theory. If we're gonna go that route, John is the original matchup was Tia Toomey versus Ariel Lowen. Tia has a more significant risk injury than people had thought, but the barbell spin had uh, reported on, and he happens to be 100% correct that that injury was a bit more uh, serious than other people were saying. She removed herself from the open competition. Now, she either knows she is not ready for whatever she thinks might be coming, on Thursday, or she knows what it is going to be on Thursday, and she then decided to not be able to do it. So yeah. what movements do we have that you can't do with a wrist injury? Bench, bench press. Bench press. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> there's, there's one answer to that with a barbell. Well, there's two. No, you can overhead squat. Clean. With a wrist injury? It's the wrist flexion that's the problem here. Are, it's not are, enjoyable there. You're right. But hey, as far hey, as handstand push ups, I think it's thrusters or clean and jerks of the barbell. Why Those would are the we only do two that, that are really. I'm not saying that's what they are, John, but I'm looking at if she, she had. I'm not saying she was. I have no idea. He's I'm just having Alex Jones hat on. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Speculation hat. Wait, let me take this cross it patch off. You need I know another patch. <laughs> you just ripped a part of your skull hat. off there, Chase. What the freak was that? Yeah, it's a patch. Yeah, hold on. All right. Let me, uh, this this quick change. I'm going to put my conspiracy hat on. You so you tell me it's oil over there or what? appropriate. There we go. Oh, All right, <laughs> boom. Done. I would assume that if I have an injury and I'm supposed to do an open announcement and I want to perform at my best and not look stupid in front of a worldwide audience, that I would kindly ask what the movements are, not particularly what the workout is, but hey, I can't really do movement X, Y, and Z. If this is a part of it, I think it'd be best for me to pull out so you guys can reconfigure what that is. I've had wrist injuries in the past, and the one things I couldn't do was rack a barbell. I can front squat without, with a wrist injury. You can do that. You can do the genie squat, but you can't do thrusters, you can't do shoulder overhead, and you can't do clean and jerks. So I'm putting those in there 
conspiracy theory. What is this? Of, I think that's on the table. Because I thought wall balls would come into effect. We're doing heavier, slower front squats the day after. Maybe some light cycling. Not an air squat, but a med ball, right? Mm -hmm. Much easier to do. That is no problem for a wrist. Zero. But a barbell is. Dumbbells are not. It's just a barbell. So I think we are going to get some type of light front rack to overhead barbell. If it was light, though, would that bother her? Yeah. It's just the position. Like, if this bothers you, like... It's going to bother you. It's going to bother you, right? And it's not a matter of, like, extending her injury, but, like, why put myself out there in a bad light with a wrist injury and maybe risk hurting it more because I want to go hard now, right? Like, T is in a position where... She will make it worse because she will compete. Yeah. She's just competitive by nature. So that's probably why she's excusing herself from the from the competition. She knows how to ride the reins if she needs to. She did it at Rogue. I'm only gonna deadlift just enough. Right. You know, to hang in there. I'm not gonna hurt myself. You know. I I, I mean, I I I tell you right now, if she got any sort of inkling about what was coming up. I'll be fucking pissed. Yeah, I don't. I, mean, I think she just. Did, thought, like, I will I be. She's just, it's still hurting, and she I'm thought just it would be better. Right I hope. No, no, I hear you, dude. I'm just. I'm just saying. I'm just to throw that in there. I mean, if she pulls herself out, fine. She's still gonna have to do the. She's still gonna have to do the the workout. I mean, maybe she wants to get the super far, far away video, so you can't really tell what's actually happening in the video. Anyway, who knows? I don't know. But um. That's fine that she pulled out. I, I do think that thrusters is a valid movement because that's a very classic crossfit type thing. I can very easily see that. Um, I, lightweight, I think you can get away with it. Even, even if you have a hurt wrist, she's going to have to do it anyway, whether she's doing it here or somewhere else. I mean, she's, she's got three days to do it. You know, She's still going to yeah. have to do it. Yeah. So I don't know. I just – the way things have been going – I feel that there is going to be squatting in there of some Heart sort, strength. whether you're going to have squatting from uh, the open workout into whatever the cap programming is. I think your, your, your legs for the, the overall dealer are going to be something is going to push your legs. And we've only had one skill as of now with, with double unders. That's it. Um, so I think that we'll have one skill and everything else will be, uh, ish one two two skills ish mm -hmm. and then we'll go from there and we'll have to have something heavy just to say that we did all right i've seen a lot of good guesses in here I've seen 24, 24 i have one that i really want to do and i i'm caught on my own i like the workout so i want to do it kind of i thing. yeah I'm i hate that. that about me <laughs> i hate i'm the same all right so with all 400 of you crazy sons of bitches watching with us right now let's get in to our predictions. Okay. Um, Bill, you've already won one. Yeah. So I'm going to let you go first. Okay. Um, before it was, I think, a little bit, uh, a little bit more vague, but I just like this one, so I hope that it's this one. Um, it'll be a two-parter because we haven't done anything heavy and we have to do something heavy, and I think that's what the, the, the mindset will be. Uh, the first part, it's going to be a 15 minute clock. Okay. Part one is a nine minute time cap, a one minute break, and then a five minute, uh, piece towards the end. And the nine minute, it's going to be 50 wall balls, 25 pull-ups, 50 wall balls, 25 chest bar, 50 wall balls, 25 bar muscle ups. That allows the good athletes to race. I know that we don't program for the elite. I know it was just, I, dude, I'm so That's thrown by the fact that he made that statement. Like it, it tosses me bad. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think that what that will do is it will allow a lot of people to kind of work through the pieces. I mean, the people that don't have the skill, the, the pull-ups, they'll be getting their first pull-up. They'll be doing whatever, but everyone can do the wall balls. It's Karen for the yeah. wall ball. So that's, you know, cross Um, oh. Allows people to have that have the opportunity of getting their first chest to bar, getting their first bar muscle up. So yay, we get to finish on you got your first awesome one. Great. Here, here's all the stuff we can put online. Then you have your break, and then you're gonna have a five minute to establish a uh 
it will be some sort of a squad. I want to say overhead because I don't think that we've done that in, in the open in a while. So I'll say from the ground. Uh, yeah, I'll say from the ground. A three rep max overhead uh, squad. 2013 regional style. Yeah. I went back and forth from like a three to a five, but I'll just say three. I think that that's fine. I'll just say that. All these people panicking about 50 wall ball shots. It's nothing. Hey, come on, guys. Seriously. That's Karen. Y'all need to start doing wall balls more. Stop just skipping. start doing CrossFit. That's old I'm school CrossFit. Mm -hmm. I mean, think guys, about it. So guys, like the, be the, the best athlete. the new open. 50 is a lot. That, that dude, you're it's pretty elite. Totally true. You're right. Hey, you're I like that. that. I like that. And then a 14, 10 ball. Let's just do that. <laughs> to, a, to a nine and 10 foot target. Yeah. yeah. Nine and 10 foot, 14 <laughs> and 10. Just so everybody can participate, you know? Oh, I can't wait to hear your prediction. <laughs> All right. Do you want me to go? I'll go. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting in uh, the spirit of mediocrity. Theories. Easiness? No, you are no. Here. Easiness? Um, Watered downness? I was thinking about this a little bit, but... <laughs> Scale, scaledness? Shout out to... I got to get this right. Um, wait, this is mine. Dang it. It's Sally. Sally had DM'd us. It's like, hey, have you noticed this? Like, I did, but I didn't really think about it that much. She's like, did you notice the 90s theme? I was like, please don't say stronger than a 90s trend. I had my fill of that phrase well, that. from Wadapalooza. Uh, but the 90s are coming back, weirdly enough. The 90s were great. I love the 90s. But uh, week one, 90 dumbbell snatches, 90 burpees. Week two, every round was 90 total reps. Is I that a coincidence? That. I saw that. I don't know. We don't but believe I'm gonna run coincidences. With we don't. So I'm going to I'm, I'm change my workout just because of that, Chase. All right. <laughs> just the structure. Yeah. You're going to be like 89 reps. I'm like, fuck you, John. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> All right. So here's what I think. We had, a, we had a couplet of the 21s and the 15s and the 9s. I was like, all right. And then we had multiple rounds rotating for 20 minutes. Something was less than 10. Something was at 20. I'm looking middle of the ground, uh, middle 10 to 15 minute range. I originally thought wall ball shots until this Tia thing, and then I can't let go of it. So I'm going to put this in there because it's be weird to not have thrusters in the open. Well, I would, oh, okay, well, I got you. Right. So I originally wanted wall ball, so it was actually very similar to Bill's. But I'm going to change it, and I'm going to say a 90-rep couplet chipper. 45 thrusters at 75 and 55, and 45 toes to bar, followed by 45 thrusters, 45 chin-over bar pull-ups, 45 thrusters, 45 chest bar pull-ups, and that's it. We're not getting above the bar. But what we can do is so get a weak sauce open. version of the old, uh, of the past open workout that we did with those exact things. Mm -hmm. e oh, yes. Weak sauce is. Yeah, I don't know. We, it's 135 thrusters. It's no, no. Well, okay. Remember we did the one, it was the pull-ups, chest bar, bar muscle-ups of mm -hmm. the thrusters. Yes, that, which was 22. Right. 22.3? Mm -hmm. With Which I guess lift. makes sense because we also did 100 deadlifts at 225, right. 155, and this year we did 185, 125. You're right. And right. that, and that's what I was looking at. I was like, okay, we've done chin over bar pull ups in the open. We've done progressions of toes to bar, chest to bar, bar muscle ups. I combine those two, toes to bar. And what I want to see is that. You give a time cap of somewhere around 18 minutes, which is three minutes per 45, which I feel like is very doable for people going to the top 25%. Should be mm -hmm. close to finishing this workout. You have a high volume set of light barbell cycling squats to a press overhead that everybody should be able to do and work their way through it. Toes to bar being the base level where the volume is the most difficult part of this, not necessarily the weight or the skill. And then you have in this chipper format using 90 reps per couplet. That's where I'm going to sit. I originally had wall ball shots, 45, 40, like the same format, but now just with, I can't shake this feeling. So I'm going to put light barbell uh, cycling. And then seeing the sumo dev of high pulls on Monday in cap with the same weights mixed with wall ball shots, I was like, all right, screw it. I'm putting a barbell in there. So that's mine. Chipper style, 18-minute cap, 90 rep couplets, working your way down the list. And the fun thing about 45 and 45 is that's a 21-15-9. It just bulk set it. Yeah. So, And then, again, another version of Fran. So, I like it. All right. Uh, I'm going to go Tyler 
Because I can't wait to see John's smart ass prediction. I don't. It's not. <laughs> save, save the. Save he's, the are, he's been Eeyore this entire time. Yeah, this save is, the most crass for last. It's going to be three minutes of sit ups. It'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough that hedging, Bill. You don't go past your hips. <laughs> yep. No, I am hedging. Remember, I'm squatting. Was, right. Yeah, any any bend is, is a hint. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't want to go down that rabbit hole, though. All right, so Tyler, for me, I looked up where we were, the movements we've done, and basically I saw, like, we need a, a push. We need some sort of push. We definitely need some sort of pull off the rig, probably, and then a squat. Um, I looked at cap. I'm iffy on the cap thing. I don't know that it correlates all that well, and we'll. I think we'll figure out if it does this week. Um, right. so I wrote this workout four minute AMRAP to complete two rounds, 15 overhead squats at 95 pounds, eight bar facing burpees, 15 overhead squats at 95 pounds, eight chest to bar. If you complete the two rounds in four minutes, you move on to the next four minutes. The weight goes up each round, 125. 155, 185. I originally wrote heavier weights, and then JR was like, that's they're not gonna do that. <laughs> um, fair enough. The other what argument the I have against overhead squats. Overhead squats. Okay. Now that's a ton, a crap ton of overhead squats and squatting on a day before they're getting ready to do a crap ton of squats on cap. Well, and bar facing burpees. And bar Burp facing burpees. And we already had burpees in the in the open already. Right. My argument is that we've seen burpees twice in the open before. We have. In a five week open, but we have. Yes. Um, that was a unique open though. People would it's, it's also eight, and eight isn't that bad. And like it if reminds you reminds me of um sixteen one. So with the yeah, line? it's it's basically the overhead lunge. Those got yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah, it is that workout, but I I changed it a little bit. Um, but the way your legs hurt if you do squats and then you go into burpees is yeah. incredible. And so, uh, you know, legs getting chewed up was kind of my thought there. So yeah. All right. All right, John. All right, I'm gonna say um, it starts with thirty wall balls. 20 toes to bar or 30 wall balls, 30 toes to bar, 30 snatches with mm -hmm. 95 pounds, 95, 65. And then 20 wall balls, 20 toes to bar, 20 snatches with 135 or uh, 20 chest to bar. Sorry, not toes to bar. Again. Okay. And then 10 wall balls, 10 bar muscle ups. 10 snatches at 185. Anyway. I like that one too. Anyway. Anyway. And the anyway accounts for Saturdays squatting mm. because if you're strong enough, oh. you're not, you know what I mean? Right. And if you're not strong enough, you're squatting that you're not making it a 225 bar anyway. You know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just toes to bar, uh, like just toes to bar the whole time. I even played around with like 30, 30, 30, but then I thought that'd be too much snatches mm -hmm. uh i just don't it's hard for me to uh escalate any type of front rack position when we're literally escalating that tomorrow yeah you know what i mean it's in the snatches cover up for it we did dumbbell snatch it's not it's different with a barbell um 10 snatches with 185 is not the end of the world but it's heavy enough that you could say you did something um, and then it's just 10 bar muscle ups. So I know you have bar muscle ups on Wednesday, but it's just 10 bar muscle ups. Right. And then like that can be 30 on Wednesday. I mean, it's not that much. Right. Well, and that can be your hard thing of the open is like, if you can do 10 bar muscle ups and 10 snatches with 185, you're probably good enough to do the quarterfinal workouts most mm -hmm. for the most part. I always like combining bar muscle ups and snatches for the same reason I like combining ring muscle-ups and clean and jerks, because I feel like they're their counterparts between gymnastics and weightlifting. Mm -hmm. Just the opposite direction, right? A snatch from the floor overhead in one motion, bar muscle-up overhead to the hip in one motion. One pulling up, one pulling over. Uh, the same thing for a clean and jerk where you, you turn over on the rings into the receiving position and you press out of it, you receive the bar in that position. And you, like, I like those complementary movements when it comes to that. 
And I John thought about what? just doing toes to bar, 30, 20, 10 toes to bar, but then I thought the workout would be too short mm -hmm. and you need something 10 to 12 minutes. And so like the mm -hmm. wall balls fill that thing to make it a little bit longer. You know what, what I mean? What about um, instead of it being snatched, since we technically snatched in the first the first week, why you not go ground overhead? Yeah, no, 100% you can do clean and jerk or ground overhead too. That still works. Uh, like, I like the ground overhead. That way people play the community, too. yeah, that's what I was going to say. The community can get involved more. And it could be like whatever you want. I'm like, I'm not sure who would pick option uh, snatch, but maybe. Especially in the I mean, lighter you, ones. Yeah, yeah I was going to say. Go 10 snatches, 185, you'd probably pick that option. Mm -hmm. Well, and if you and if you put a if you put a uh, a tie break time at the at the at the end of each of those rounds, you may want to go snatch because it's obviously going to be faster, right? You know, so you, you you get your speed where you need to get the speed, and that that's the, the people that are racing those that gives them their chance to race that. I'd be interested though, like the one eighty five at the end. Do you think you'd be better off clean and jerking that or snatching that? Me clean and jerking. Yeah, same. I mean, I've it's seen you. Safer. I've seen you cycle 185, like it, it, your competition that you did. You'd be mm -hmm. good at that. I, I can, I can touch and go 185, clean and jerk way more times than I can do that snatch. It's just hard. Okay, it's just yeah. Difficult. For me, Chandler, somebody like Chandler is going to do snatch, for sure. Like I assume mm -hmm. I would snatch, but if I can't do it on broken, I might as well clean and jerk. Right. <laughs> yeah. you, know what, you know what I mean? Uh, just from being tired. Yeah. The thing is, like, I like all of these, and like, and I, I know I sound deflated right now because I just, I don't, I don't, I almost just don't care anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm over the You're opening. Not so broken. Uh, <laughs> bring on quarterfinals. I would rather do Saturday's workout. I think Saturday's workout should be the last workout, right? Um, of the open, I'd be, I'd be that. That's it's a great workout. Um, I'm sad that we're soft now, and I don't think we should be soft. When, especially when one of the monikers and, and this will be like, I can't wait to all come back when we all come back for the uh, program, you know, the, the analyzing of the programming of the open, because the biggest thing is going to be, I mean, we heard some brand new things so far this year, which is one Dave saying the open is not programmed for the elite athletes. And that's a problem because that has never, ever been said before. Not once. And we always program for the best and scale for the rest. And we have a scaled division. So we have a lot of opportunities where the things that we're trying to do to be inclusive are already there. So we don't need mm -hmm. to double down on it again. And, you know, even even looking like at, uh, you know, Hitler's last video where he has all the deadlifts. The reason that went that way is not because everyone's trying to cheat. It's because it's too damn light. It's the same thing of having, you know, uh, elite level athletes doing, you know, dumbbell thrusters at 55 pounds. It's too light for them, or to have them do Fran. Like you're putting them, you're putting them too close to the line because it doesn't that that weight doesn't even count. Not right. to say that some people had problems with it, but we had athletes here at my gym that are not strong deadlifters, and they handled that just fine. Even if they had to do it and break it up, it didn't do anything to anything. Yeah, great job, everybody. It's got yeah, everyone here. Thank you guys. <laughs> um, but I think that that's important. I mean, I I. I there's been a change. There's been a change. Hey, let me ask you this, John. Would you have, if, if the first workout was the second workout, would you have hated it as well? Cause I know that I, for me, if, if, if the first workout, cause me and Chase talked about this yesterday, I like in a bubble. I like the workout. It's a great workout. It's fun. You know, great. It's a great class workout. Cool. If yep. that was the first workout, I would have been like, okay, cool. Everyone's involved. Everyone gets to play. I still think it was a little light, but it wouldn't have been as bad. But because we had the 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 dumbbell uh, burpee as the first one, mm -hmm. and then this one, all of a sudden I went, "Oh shit!" Yeah, no, one hundred percent. I actually really like the workout by yeah. itself, really do. And if it was the first workout, I'd be like, "It's solid. It's solid." Uh, deadlift was irrelevant, but it's totally. solid. And then, but if you had the week one's workout come out in week two, I'd be like, what the F is this? Right. This is ridiculous. Right. right. And like, you know what I'm saying? I'd feel the same way. It's so it's, it's the and, order of how the, they're being set up. Not that, I mean, because I like both of them. It. Week three could save it, but you just back yourself into a hole with Saturday's workout. Right. Right. And 
and you know maybe week three we'll save it and then like then i'll be happy and everything's fine but uh i just you know people are like everybody needs to everybody needs to be able to participate well, back in the day, people did participate. It's called right. the scaled division. If you can't do something, the workout is easy. We have an easier version for you, just like class. Right. Mm -hmm. And right? that's why it's the scaled mixed. division is there. Right. And right. now it's like everybody has to RX. Like right. we have to make this for everybody to RX, except the person who just walked into a CrossFit gym. Yeah. Like, and I, I and I don't I don't want it to be that we use the well, 25% are going. So it really doesn't matter. We can't we cannot say that. Even though this is the fitness fun run, like we already know that, like I got it, but we should not use that as a, like a catch all for not programming it right. That's not and the identity it, that Greg based CrossFit upon. Right. No, true. And, and, and to Dave's point, I like the fact that he said, Hey, you know what? You can't, you can't say it's crap until you see it compared with everything else, which is totally true, but you're right. Like this third week, I, I don't, it's going to be really hard to fix it. The the thing that rings true for me on this is like creation of moments, heroic moments. So my mother-in-law got her first double under during the workout, Aww. which is cool. Aww. It's awesome. But like those moments didn't really, they don't really exist this year. It's like, cause she gets the double under and then she immediately goes into some more. There's not this big, huge celebration because the double under is not that kind of movement. It's like okay, I've got more of them to do. Versus, you get your first ring muscle up, and okay, then you're so. you're stoked for like two minutes, and you're yeah. probably just like done. You're like, yeah, I got it. I'm done. <laughs> Time, but like or cleans when you when you finally get that two seventy five clean or or you know whatever mm -hmm. weight. Um, because wow. we're programming for the the people that we are, the creation of those moments is goes away, and that was the whole like thing about the open for me was those magic moments. Well, in in hundred percent. And so far, the only thing we've had that in was if someone got their first double under, like yeah. that's it. Um, and I know that there are a couple people that were calling me out on doing the whole, the, the deadlift part didn't matter. And again, that's not to say that for some people, the deadlifting part was hard, but I had people that could crush the deadlift and they could crush the row and they were doing singles for a double under. Boom, boom, stop. I put it, boom, I put it like, boom, like, stop. So is it fair for them? Like, I mean, like, it's going to be hard for somebody. It's going to be hard. Like, oh, there's, there's always 300 something thousand people. They're yeah. going to have some hard times with it. That's cool. It's supposed to be that way. But it shouldn't be that the, you know, again, you don't program for the masses. You program appropriately to get what you're trying to move to the next set. And if all we do is we go really, really light and we don't we don't test anybody. I mean, did we get did we get the right 25 percent if we go to the open or if we go to the quarterfinals that way? I don't, I don't know if we I don't know if we did, if we if it ends up being that way again. Don't know what the last part is. I disagree with that comment. Which one? Same. The one that Chase just pulled Brian up. Pull it back Moore. up. Here's the Brian thing. Moore. Here's the thing. Well, let me read it first. Quarterfinals is an extension of the Open with cuts. In the old days, Open qualified you for regionals, so it had to be tougher. Format has changed, and I believe it's pretty good. Okay, the okay. reason, like, and I've gotten this a lot in the comments and, like, the shows that I've been mad about it before. Like, well, you're going to have it strengthen the quarterfinals, or, like, it's the extension of the Open, blah, 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 blah. It's different. Regionals was easier to make than semifinals. Semifinals is the top 40 people in half of America, right? Like mm -hmm. regionals, there was seven regionals in America. So 280 people got to go, and now it's 80 people. It's way, way, and the difference between 80, those 80 and those two, 280 is enormous. The fitter you get, it's an exponential increase in how to close you are to the top. Does that make any sense? Y'all follow what yeah. I'm trying to say? Yeah. Um, and so it's not quarterfinals should not be like semifinals is not regionals. Semifinals is harder than regionals. And then quarterfinals is easier than regionals, right? Like, and there needs to be some kind of a middle ground. And thus far in quarterfinals, I think the program has been amazing the last two years. But that doesn't mean 
like here's I think week two should have been week one's workout. And then whatever week three comes out, it probably should have been week two's workout. And then week three should have been a little bit like a, a little harder than whatever week two comes out. Does that make sense? A harder yeah, but I loved week one. I like, that was a great open workout. That's cool. You can't have week two with week one. I understand, but like we're just kicking out week one. It's like, sure. what about then, week one? then, then do week one and then week three if it's harder with the skills and then you need to have something with lifting. Okay, let right. me let me let me ask you guys this then, John. Let, in, in chase you too. Take the two events in a bubble. Which one has more I think we're right to being out. in the CrossFit Open? We too. Which is which is the better one to to put in the CrossFit Open? And it's, and and tell uh, me why. And tell me why. It's tough because you you don't have the context of all of the workouts. True, but I get my, it. My gut my gut says the first one because we hadn't had that feeling in a, in a few years. Okay. I see personally, I will say one, I like one over two because there was nothing in the first event that was, that I think needed to be changed. The, not the weights, not the movements, not the style, not the time frame. nothing. I think it was what it was yeah. and it was set up perfect. Whereas on uh, week two, there's the discrepancies of okay. The double unders. Do you do the? You know, is it is are the double unders are enough? Is there like enough? Were there are enough deadlifts? Were they heavy that. enough? Okay. Like there was a, there was things a lot of things to fudge with. I don't mm -hmm. think you needed to fudge anything on event number one. That's fair. That's a fair point. I don't disagree. I think week two is a better open workout for like endurance, and I think they both test endurance to a certain extent. But one's a little like fast aerobic endurance and one's long aerobic endurance but dude my right. lungs felt way different between those two but i no, mean no, no. i hear what you're saying but it's different like, stimuluses different... but it's still your lungs just in a different capacity one's a mile and one's a 5k yeah yeah fair yeah 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 um i just think you can't put those two together you you can hold whichever one you want you can pick week one week two i don't care uh, Do you think this all i don't want to say hinges on but Hinging on hinging on them putting deadlifts in week two. Like if it was shoulder to I think if the deadlifts were 225, it'd be a different workout. For instance, Chase, you beat me in this workout. You're you're relatively fit, you're an excellent rower, and double under is your awesome at. But the deadlifts were nothing. They did right. nothing. Right. Right. Like if the deadlifts meant anything, I don't think you're gonna beat me in this workout. And you you did, right? Your lungs are better than mine. The deadlifts didn't do anything to that right. workout. They did in my last round, but yes, like overall. You understand but, what I'm I, saying? Yeah, I do. And I, but here's my question is that I know we're saying this workout versus that workout, 4.1 and 4.2, but if they had just used a different movement than deadlifts, not even the weight. Well, I said 115 front squats on as, another as in what? podcast. Uh, oh, you, well, yeah, I heard the front squat thing, but I, I was kind of leaving squats for the end just because I think it will be some type of friend esque couplet towards the end of the open. But uh, we said uh, in my first guess is like a shoulder to overhead. Make it twenty reps. But even if it's ten, if it's if it's even if it's shoulder, I, I would think shoulder shoulder overhead. thirty-five and ninety-five as a shoulder to overhead because the rowing fatigue would affect the shoulder to overhead ability because there's a technique and a stamina required to dip drive, which is a double knee bend leg mm -hmm. smoking exercise with shoulder to overhead being stamina. Into the double unders. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that at all. I think everything is now affecting themselves right. and you take out the transit. Like there's going to be a massive fall off with like people will probably start breaking that bef way before, but I see that, Deadlifts at 185 and 125 is more accessible to a worldwide demographic taking this test than a shouldered overhead at 135 and 95 is. Yep. Does it need to be? Well, that's the question too. Is like we've said since the beginning is like this isn't the open of old. It's not going to be that. I'm sad about that fact. And I that's agree okay. And I, I, I don't think it's – and what I'm saying is like you guys are all right in the way you feel about it. I just think the what Look it the is now – on. Whatever I get you're it. about to say – Look what you're repping. Yeah. You know? But it's, I'm not, here's the thing. Like, I'm not saying I wish the, we had the old open back. What I'm saying is it's not it. 
So to, to get upset that it's not what it was when it's not it anymore, I feel like kind of runs yourselves in circles and gets Crying you more over frustrated than you need to be, right? Like, I get it. You're That's not fair, wrong. Fair. That's fair. But it's not it anymore. But it doesn't have to be what it was, but it doesn't mean that it that can't be a cop-out for not having the right programming you're anyway. Your argument, right? Like, we, you're still we, using it as an argument. Who is? I get what you're saying, Chase, because you're playing. You're playing devil's advocate. You're also I am. Saying, don't don't this cry over spilt now. milk. This is what we have, and you but, cannot. My mom, my mom just died. Like you can't be mad. I'm crying about it right now. Like give Man, me your mom didn't it. just die. No, right? no, no, no. It just like that's this the analogy I'm using. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah. Like somebody just died. You can't be mad that we're yeah. we're crying about it right now. Right. And I'm, like, but what I'm saying is like, you're not wrong in the way you feel about it, but to use that as an argument for the way you feel, I just don't think is fair because it's not it and it's not going to be that. So we have to judge it in the vacuum of which we're in a little bit more. Is, okay, that's all I'm saying. No, yeah. you, you are totally right on that. And I, but I, mm -hmm. I'll kind of lean with John. It doesn't have to be the, the, I'm not trying to get the old open, okay. but what is, the CrossFit Open and the CrossFit, we got to use the definitions that we use in CrossFit for this three week, if it's three tests or an A, B or four tests, whatever, we still are doing CrossFit. This isn't Wadapalooza where we're trying to have everybody have fun and like CrossFit is finding fitness and we need to like, use our definitions of fitness to do that. Would you and say, to, go ahead, bro, sorry. I was just going to say and to do that, like, for like, you know, using the uh, the Monday cap workout, that is showing those things. Everyone can play. It still is showing strength for the people that can get there. You got to earn your place to get there. I don't think that that's unaccessible. It's still doing all of those things. And so there are ways to do that. We can't can't let ourselves. I don't think it's appropriate for us to let ourselves go all the way the other way and make it the easiest thing that every everyone can do all the things anyway. And if you can't do it, there is a scale division to do that. You already That's why it. we have the scale division. So I, I think that we get, we're getting, we, and so far, and again, this is two of the three weeks. I, I don't have the full spectrum, so I don't know exactly what it looks like. But as of right now, there seems to be a lot of holes in our definition of fitness that we haven't hit as CrossFit, doing the worldwide CrossFit, open <laughs> that's the part that makes it hard i i i'm i accept that this is what it is now chase but would you say that the open should be relatively balanced in what it tests or no yes yes do you think and it's i'm not it thus far? disagreeing no do you, okay. i don't know what the last workout is yet Dude, it better be like the greatest save of all time. Is all I'm <laughs> and, I, and I'm not saying that's not the case, right? Like I'm not necessarily, I'm not inherently disagreeing, but I just, I keep hearing regionals. It's it was this it. open. Well, like, that like, was a response not, to the comment. No, that, yeah, that was a response to the comment. We talked Southern. about that for, at length to bolster the claims that which both of you guys were basing your arguments on. And I just wanted to come in and as a devil's advocate play is like, we can't do that because it's unfair to the argument. I, I'm with you. But we we what can feels? still test all the things with simpler movements, not as technical movements. They don't need to be the, we don't need to come out with the snatch and ring muscle yeah. up right away. I mean, like we can do a lot of the things. Right. And I don't you need to do the other things. We programmed this. It's not that hard to do. Right. Right. So you right, guys right. are right. I'm just saying the argument of, I don't want to pull in the argument of the open's not what it was because it's not. Yeah, you're right. And so I think that that argument itself should just stop dead in its tracks going forward is my personal take the, on this. The way of rephrasing what Bill's essentially saying is he disagrees about what the open is and should be. Not that he's arguing for the past open. Okay, that's he, fine. He doesn't align with yeah. what it what it is. And you know, I would push that some people don't know what it is for mm -hmm. now. And that's that's the misalignment. Which is fine, right? Because then that's your own personal opinion. Is like, I wish the right, open right. was like this. Like, if you want to say that, say it all day. I don't, I don't disagree with you at all. It's like, I do miss some of those challenges. Do we want to make it more accessible to get more engagement and more people to sign up? I think that's a big part of what the open is now. Mm -hmm. And I'm also okay with more engagement <laughs> and more people stepping in. But yes, listen, I, I'm nervous about what 24.3 is going to be. 
Because I think a lot is right. What I did not read this. What is this? Oh, sorry. Oh. Go back up. No, it's cool. I'm reading it. Now we're good. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at. But, yeah, man, we'll be tuning in. Maybe we'll break another. Thursday. Good luck, Dave. <laughs> 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 that sounded a little more like a challenge than than actual wishing of good luck. It is a challenge. It is a challenge. Let's well, and what, he, I mean, he try. said it. He, he he said in his week in review, he's like, you can't judge a workout unless you see all of them. Which is which, true. Which is 100% spot on. Yep. 100% spot on. So it's like, okay, we got one more week. Yeah. I mean, you I guys got... have said that as fact so far because you're like, it, okay, 24.1, love that workout for the open. And you're like, 24.2, Love that workout for the open. I think we collectively agree we don't love them together. Yeah. Right. Right. And so that's part of the game of programming is you can create great workouts, but when you put them together is, is a whole nother task in and of itself. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we will see. We will see. Well, you guys got our guesses. This is awesome, by the way. <laughs> we got 500 of you 500 guys. 500 people watching. You guys are great. 500? 500. Are you sure you we got 300 of them? We got to step it yeah. up on spin. I got to ask Tex Taylor, did he buy us? <laughs> Taylor buying Before us. Before you get invited, that dude. <laughs> uh, Renata, that's a whole nother conversation. We're actually going to do a show. I've decided. We're going to do a show. No, Rory. Oh, it works the other way around. Their fixed it moment. I would not be last in the games, Rory, because I could do all the hard stuff. All the easy right. stuff. Everybody's better <laughs> because I'm out of shape. <laughs> okay, thank you for saying that, John, because this is going to be my last little soapboxy thing that I hear from certain demographics of skill sets. If not having a max lift in the open keeps you out of quarterfinals, you are not fit enough to be there to begin with. And I believe that, and I'm with that in the top And I'll go to the percent. opposite side of the spectrum, John. Top 10%, I believe that. If you need a, if you need a high-skilled gymnastics event to get into quarterfinals, you are not fit enough to be there. I get it. It would be more balanced with the programming, but if you can't get in the top 25% without those two things, you are simply not fit enough to be there. 100%. 100%. When I'm ranting, I believe that to the 10% line too. You are not, you don't get to do the hard stuff because you're not fit enough to get there. And I 100% full heartedly believe y'all, I'm not I'm close to not making quarterfinals, okay? So whatever this, like, you need to understand this. I'm not, just because I'm not a games-level athlete, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still a little fit. And, and that's the thing is, like, 10%, <clears throat> I'm glad you actually you agreed with that, but, like, however you want to take that. But those, and this is not you, John. You're not claiming, it's like, we need a max lift for it to be no, good. No, I don't believe that at all. And I know you're not saying that, but I hear it. He's like, where's the max lift? This is bullshit. I'm like, if that's what you needed, if you needed something so specific and isolated outside all the other things you should be good at to get to the top 25%, you're flat out not fit enough to be there. And the same thing for high skill gymnastics or some massive aerobic conditioning monostructural single modality tests. You do, like, if those are the things you're hinging this on, not you, not anybody here, just people that I hear. You're just not fit enough to be there, and you got to go back to the drawing board. Period. Well, it's because they, if they are worried about the one thing that is not their strength, so they don't get to put their big cards on the table. It's like, okay, fit is you got to be good at all of those things. But even with that, got to have all those things to test. <laughs> that's all. Right. That's, you know, I keep going. At it. But you're right. It's it's not this dude. There should be no one rep lift in in this open at all. No. We didn't like it when it was the old open. So right. there's no place for a one rep max lift. None. There's no place for a one, uh, a single modality type thing in the open at all. I mean, honestly, there's only three tests, three weeks. But yeah, unless no, we go back it. to the five-week open. And, yeah. Yep. All right. You crazy people that are rolling with us, thank you for – I uh, thank you guys for just rolling with this. I, I, I don't – usually I'm pretty good with words, but – Man, I'm blown away. Um, while we have you guys here, we just like to shout out to some of our buddies that are coming up. Uh, go to Coffee Pods and Wads in uh, less than 10 minutes. They will have the Around the Whiteboard show. As far as open announcements, you guys know what's coming up as far as what CrossFit is putting out. But don't forget, 
The other divisions that are in the mix, we have a live announcement on Wheelwad's YouTube page after 24.3 gets announced. Uh, you've got John Edward Heath, lower body, uh, below the knee, adaptive athletes, Blaze Foster, short stature, and Christina Mazzullo, upper two point. Um, that's on the adaptive side. They also have masters age groups doing the announcements. Uh, Ian Billock, Travis Flanagan, and Ellie Tinker. Uh, college age division. They'll all be doing the announcements there. And if you guys, listen, if you want to support more than you guys already do, the 500 plus you guys watching, hit that little join icon. Use the cheapest option we have. It just helps us do more of these things that we bring to you. We hope you guys have been enjoying our Inside the Leaderboard show. I kind of sort of want something awful programmed in week three just to see what happens to John's head. Uh, <laughs> As we are inching towards uh, that seven, should mean I make semifinals because quarterfinals is lifting on all five workouts. Okay. Seventy-five potential European women could be in the top one hundred after the week, third week oh, of the week. Who knows? Crazy. Who knows? But thank you guys so much for rolling with us. We appreciate the hell out of you. We'll have a uh, twenty-four point three recap show on this coming Monday after we all uh, get it done, and then we'll have our closing open inside a leaderboard show. That Wednesday, same time, 10.15 a.m. Pacific time, 12.15 p.m. You boys got a show on tonight. Maybe John will, may or may not be on that show. <laughs> but it's uh, the spin on the Barbell Spin YouTube. What time do you guys go live? 7.30 Eastern. All right. 7.30 Eastern, 6.30 Central. So you guys go watch that, but click over to get with the, uh, get with the program. Coffee, pods, and wads as we find out if Savan is or isn't good for CrossFit. Hope you guys like that. We'll see you on, I guess, Thursday. Not commenting in the chat because that's what would get me in trouble. My name oh, is Tyler. that's the wrong button. What's going on on me, huh? <laughs> I'm not retarded, but I like rock. That's my bad. That was the wrong button. All right, guys. <laughs> You're joining